You're now watching Rhymes and Politics. Check, check it out. Spit the balls. Yeah. What's up, what's up? We're here at the Bronx Native Shop. My name is Amal Street Young. I'm a creative social entrepreneur, co-founder and CEO of Bronx Native, located right here in the Boogie Down Bronx, 127 Lincoln Avenue. What's up, what's up? We here, you know, celebrating 50 years of hip hop right here from the Mecca, Cedric Avenue, 1520. Father of hip hop, DJ Cool Herc. My guy right there, shout out to him. He was just instated as the king of hip hop this past Friday at the Yankee Stadium celebration. So shout out to him. Um, you already know, hip hop. It's in the blood, it's in the veins, you know? This is in the fabric, the DNA of the Bronx, of our people. When we think about hip hop, we're thinking we're brought back to the foundation, right? One day, I asked DJ Kuhirk, he came here, right, to the shop, and he said, and I asked him, you know, I was like, hey, uh, sign, sign the, you know, put, put your tag in the shop. And he was like, he said, this whole shop is my tag. You know, this shop is hip hop, you know, and I said, OK, OK, tell me what were the foundations? You know, you created the, this event on August 11th, 1973. Um, what was what were you thinking about? Like, what was the you know, what, what was the what, what made you do it? Him and his sister, of course. And he said the foundation of hip hop starts with family, starts with community, starts with togetherness. Right. Um, he said that hip hop is always what's new, what's fresh. That's why the hip is in hip hop. It has to be hip. Um, and he said all these things that really resonated with me and, and really made me think even more about hip hop, right? We grew up with hip hop, right? But there's different variations. And that's one of the awesome things that me personally, I love about hip hop, that it evolves with the times, right? It evolves with the youth, with the future, right? We take elements from different parts and we create something new, something uh, remixed. And that's part of what we did, you know, here in the, you know, early 1970s, 1980s when the Bronx was burning uh, literally 80% of the South Bronx was in ruins right or people were struggling or buildings were burning but out of all that struggle we recreated the whole world because we wanted to be heard we wanted to be seen and we wanted to create impact and that's where hip-hop came out right uh, five elements you know it's not only a music genre it is a lifestyle right it's something that has changed the world you know when you look at mainstream culture now you're looking at hip-hop right when you look at the style when you look at what's on TV the way people talk you know fresh the drip you know that swag that comes from hip-hop right MC DJ b-boying b-boxing and which one did I miss? <laughs> Knowledge. Knowledge. No, no, no. Cause they, so that's another debate because I've I spoken to people too. They're like, hey, so it's supposed to be an MC, DJ, breakdancing, graffiti, that's the one I miss, and, and beatboxing. But sometimes I know they change it into knowledge. Um, and and I, I had a couple of the people like, you know, OGs telling me like, oh, it, it's beatboxing, you know, and that translates into kind of producing now or it's knowledge and that encapsulates everything. But, but you know, the thing is that hip hop is a layered uh, uh, genre, it's a, it's a layered movement, right? It, it's, it's really, uh, that's what it is, a, a movement more than a genre. And uh, it has inspired the future. It continues to inspire the people, past, present, you know, future. Uh, 50 years. Who would have thought, right? I was born, you know, 1992. I'm a, I'm a young buck, you know, I guess, quote unquote. Uh, but not that young, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm here. I pay homage. I pay respect to the culture, to the pioneers. Shout out Cole Herc, Harris One, Melly Mel, Cole Crush Brothers, the Grandmaster Cavs, Gr uh, Gr uh, Flash. All, all of them. All of them. You know what I mean? Thank you for... For... Um, walking so we can run you know what i mean uh so again shout out to hip-hop what we have here is a store that pays homage that pays respect to hip-hop to the bronx to our culture to our people right uh black and brown immigrants disenfranchised communities that didn't have platforms to express they didn't have these resources but we made it happen only the strong survive and here in the boogie 
we got the freshest you already know we do this and we are going to continue to do it passing the baton you know and making sure that the future generations know what is hip hop